All right, guys, we're here for some live TGs. Complicated, little synchro, very uh, wild synchro toolbox, you could say. Very consistent. Room for text, very good. Brand new archetype, or brand new archetype, not brand new archetype. New support, very old archetype. Kind of a new archetype to me. I've made some videos, but I haven't really sunk my teeth into it like I did here. So uh, it's been fun. Hope you guys enjoy, and thanks for watching. All right, here we are facing on my Valentine. We're going second. Let's see if we can't do some crazy plays. Showing them what's up. Now let's see. He's genuinely, genuinely harpies. We don't have any monsters. Wait a minute. Why don't we have any monsters in our hand? Our deck is mostly monsters, I want to say. We got, what, 12 monsters in this deck? We should have some monsters. He's setting up a synchro before us. That ain't cool. Okay, let's see, let's see. There's still some hands we can do, but he may be able to just bounce us. It might not even matter. We'll see right now. Boy, uh, that's not good. There still might be something I can do. Uh, I think, right? If we go... Uh... This... And... What is that? Six, seven, eight? We can do that. Or no. Six? Yeah, we can do that. Yeah. Yeah, if he bounces us out though, we're gonna have a problem. Okay, so let's hope that doesn't happen. He has a delay. He's trying really hard to fight it, but I can feel it. Yeah, I can feel it. Okay, okay. We can't do this because we don't have it in our hand. We could do this. He's immediately going to have to stop this. And we'll still have the tuner. Yeah, that's the play. That's the play. He's got to stop this. He did not stop it. Now we can throw two. Man, that's dangerous though. Throwing these two. I can save. It, it's going to be devastating if we're able to do this. If that's like a forbidden chalice gonna suck. No, it's nothing. Wow. Yeah, what a devastating turn, because now we have a battle boss that's uh, gonna be able to attack real easily. And even if we have to use our Forbidden Lance on him, it's gonna be two swings of 2k. I can actually use the Lance now. I can actually use the Lance now and uh, ball out like that. You guys ready? I'm gonna use the Lance now and ball out. Just because he doesn't have a delay, I thought I was feeling a delay, but I guess I was wrong. We're gonna be able to swing twice and oh, Kiteroid. No, it's the back row. What am I saying? One. He's not gonna give us the satisfaction of uh, stopping his back row. But now he's gotta try to use that mirror force. Obviously, we already used the uh, Forbidden Lance. What a feel to overcome, huh? He didn't have the means to use his Harpy Bounce immediately. It's probably why you don't put Battle Traps in Harpies, but uh, great stuff, guys. All right, here we are facing an Arcana going first. So if we have enough monsters, we can stop a summon. Let's see. That is, in fact, enough monsters. So we're always going to use the skill. It's a free card from our deck. Not bad at all. 
then we can throw away the other version. And it's good maintenance, these limit limiter removals, because we can add certain cards back to our deck. Search this and this. Just want one of every card, really. So it's super easy. We normal summon this guy. Special summon this guy. Which gives us a special summon here. Okay. Play this. Okay. Now we go into the link. Once you go into the link, you gotta do TG. You can't do anything else if you do this special summon. That's just how it is. So there's one. Uh, we need the two from the deck. And the one from the graveyard. Makes a five. And then we add the three to our hand. Okay. Yes. Three. Then we special summon the three. That's another five. We make sure it's not a tuner. There we go. Now let's see if our shooting star is summonable. It is. We'll see if it's. We can bring it back from the graveyard once we uh, bounce it. You know. We'll see. We will see. There's the TG boy. Okay, okay, okay. To the graveyard. Special summon. Takes forever to do this. But here we are. We got there, guys. To the final field. We negate a summon now. We just gotta really make it count. Even if we mess up, we have a sword of revealing light helping us out. Very cool. And our turn took forever. Sorry, Arcana, he is Dark Magician, so... We're gonna have to really pick and choose what summon we stop. Because he could have a fusion. There's Dark Magical Circle. Now he's got Eternal Soul. See what else he's gonna bring out on it. That's Eternal Soul. Now keep in mind, he can't target our biggest boy. Okay. So, Dark Magical Circle ain't gonna cut it. <sighs> we could just negate that. She won't get the, uh, search or any of that. He could have been relying on it. So we'll see how this goes. A wolf. Now there's not much I can do with that. So we're gonna just wait. We're gonna swing. He summons again. Is it during the main phase? During a- no, just during another player's turn. So uh, he can't target this guy. He can target him, obviously. He's going to try with a Karma Cut, but uh, he's he's stuck now. All he can target is that guy. He's probably trying to figure out how to target this guy. But that's not how it works, my guy, and that is a lethal amount of damage. Now, keep in mind, it's, it's the Link Monster's effect. He can't target anything he's pointing to, or any TG, I assume. Great, great stuff, guys. So, uh... Sark type's okay. TGs are complex, but cool, but strong, I should say. They're not exactly fun. It's okay. They're an okay archetype. Unique synchro toolboxes are always fun. You'll find a way to have fun with that. Uh, it's, it's hard not to, so overall, 
Uh, still so much to go through with this box. I'm blown away TG's were my first because I thought TG was going to be the far, far last. But here we are doing the latest TG deck. So hope you guys enjoyed and thanks for watching.